President Trump announcing today he'd like to see an end to public companies reporting their earnings every quarter. Here's what he had to say earlier today when asked how many times a year he thought companies should have to report. I'd like to see twice, but we're going to see. This took place when I had, as you know, uh, the world's top executives, among the world's top executives, and the head of Pepsi Cola, a great woman who is now retiring, she said, because I asked, what could we do to make it even better? And she said, two time a year reporting, not quarterly. And I thought of it, and it made sense to me, because, you know, we are not thinking far enough out. We've been accused of that for a long time, this country. So we're looking at that very, very seriously. We're looking at twice a year instead of four times a year. So I reached out, of course, to outgoing PepsiCo Indra Nui, and she responded to the president's comments in a statement this afternoon. Here's what she says, adding a little context around it. Many market participants, as well as the Business Roundtable, which we are a part of, have been discussing how to better orient corporations to have a more long-term view. Most agree that a short-term only view can inhibit long-term strategy and thus long-term investment and value creation. My comments were made in that broader context and included a suggestion to explore the harmonization of the European system and the U.S. system of financial reporting. In the end, all companies have to balance short-term and long-term performance. Well, look, who can argue with that statement? Of course, all the companies have to balance it, but I still come down on the side of where the SEC was 80 years ago, where they said more information is better. That's what happened 80 years ago, and I'm still with the SEC on that. Let's have a conversation about it. Is it time for companies to change the way they report earnings? Joining us to discuss is Amy Boris, Deputy Director of the Council of Institutional Investors. And on the phone is Alan Questrom, former chairman and CEO of J.C. Penney. Alan, wanted to ask you, J.C. Penney right now is a company that is struggling. Would they do better if they only had to report earnings every six months? I'm not sure that would help them at this point in time, but I think that the concept of, of long-term, uh, you know, every six months is, is better than quarterly. But saying that, I doubt that they're going to change that. But I do give credit to the president for listening to the executives when he invites them in. He does have open ears and he does listen to what they have to say. I think what we all want to see is people think about the long term. And what we now have on analysts, and particularly analysts love it because they love to go through it. And I think he does have examples this, this last quarter of, of, of Walmart where the stock went up because of primarily because of the internet was up 41 percent when they finished the last quarter of last year it was down to 22 percent so now it jumps that's only one you know it's only six months later and in the case of macy's they report a very first good first quarter because of a change in sale and the second quarter comes out much less so the stock goes down i mean people can't respond that way but that's what the market's going to do the key is that the executive who runs the company has to think long term whether they report quarterly or they report every six months that's the key to any business. You have to think of how the business is going to look six months, two, six years, 16 years from now. Amy, let me turn to you. Um, you advise big institutional investors. Where does the Council uh, of Institutional Investors come down on this question? And, and Trent, can you answer the question, who would benefit from having less information out there? Isn't that a, a, the real crux of the question? Well, that's true. And, you know, of course, uh, executives would like more fewer restrictions on when they report and how how often but would that benefit the investors who after all are the owners the share owners of the companies um, quarterly, rep quarterly reporting provides investors with uh, you know with accurate information timely accurate information they need to make informed investment decisions it's been around for a long time and uh, it provides discipline and accountability in the marketplace. You know, if you have longer intervals between reporting, uh, you could have more, it'd be, first of all, it'd be harder to uncover any shenanigans that might be going on. Think back to Enron in 2001. It was a third mm. quarter report that revealed um, a big um, write down of shareholders' equity, and that led eventually to uncovering what we all now know to be a house of cards. There are, it would also leave investors without you know, information to rely on, so they'd be more likely to pay more attention to rumor and to off-the-cuff remarks by executives, and that could make for more volatility, price volatility, and more speculation. And there are you know, studies that have shown this. Uh, some yeah. others think that it could lead to more, um, provide more opportunity for insider trading. Alan, I, I mean, how do you respond to that? And also, 
What do you think a move to a six-month reporting period would allow companies to do if they get unshackled from the every three-month pressure to beat on the bottom line? Well, again, you know, I think analysts certainly like it every quarterly because that gives them something to do. They probably wouldn't need as many of them if they had to do it every six months. But I think, quite frankly, the Enron thing could have been discovered two years before if they looked at and looked closely to what was being gone. I, I think it's it's me. It's how the CEO wants to treat it. I, I'm all for six months, but I don't. And as I said, I don't think it's going to change. And I, and I think we always have to think longer term. If if you're investing in this because you're going flipping every every three three months because of what I report this one quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that seems to me to be a strange way to invest, but I'm a long-term investor. I'm not a short-term. I'm not a trader. Right. But, so there's different right. ways that people think. I think more, but to the point is, more right. information that's made available every six months or every three months yeah. is fine. So people have okay. full access to what makes sense. Amy, we got 10 seconds. It, it, uh, wouldn't sure, this be I better if we turn this around, uh, Amy, and ask maybe the CEO mindset should change? I mean, many of them are just four or five years as a CEO. At this point, uh, their compensation is tied to the stock price. I, isn't that a short-termism to look at? That's what I'm more interested in. Well, there is short. There is a concern. I think we all want our executives to focus on for the long term. You know, and I think if, the, if CEOs want to get out from under short-term scrutiny, you know, more of them should stop issuing quarterly earnings guidance, which isn't helpful and just drives mm. co companies to focus more on the short term.